Everybody doing okay today? Yes. Yeah. 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 Good job. Uh, I apologize for the very few copies of this that I have, but unfortunately our printer has limitations. If you would just the people that would be most interested in taking this handout would be people that are most sure. interested in judging at what area and division and perhaps district no. competitions because that's what this presentation is all about. One of the things, excuse me, I'm going to leave this for just a second. One of the things that we ask people to do and which is an integral part of the development of communication skills is to evaluate. A lot of times that gets poo-pooed, but evaluation, as it says in this handout here, evaluation is a gift. It's a gift to you, your personal ability to let people know what your opinion is of their presentation skills in this case. It's a gift because you can, as we all know, you can make big mistakes giving that kind of information out. So developing a method that's positive for you and positive for the person receiving the information is critical to getting the actual message across. It's a gift to the person that is being evaluated because once they trust your, once they trust where you're coming from, they are most likely to take in the information that you have to give them or at least be amenable to the idea of discussing what it is you've said so that you can reach some kind of a mutually agreed upon baseline for how they did and how they need to improve perhaps. First of all, I'd like to thank Susan. Uh, Susan provided me with this handout. Thank you again very much for that. in preparation for the speech contests that are going to be coming down the pike here in the near future. By the way, when is our speech contest in the club? Anybody know? Nobody knows. We need to come up with that schedule. The area contest, we're in area H, is that right? Division H. Yeah. I think 80. Yeah, Division 80 H, 80 area 85, and I'm pretty sure. We're area 85. Yeah, we are Area 85. This club is in Area 85. So, if the area competition and division competitions are going to be held about the October time frame, those of you, of us, that are interested in competing, A, need to tell ourselves I'm interested in competing, and B, the club needs to get a schedule together. The competition this time of year is all about humorous speech and evaluation. So, that being said, the idea of judging and evaluation would be a timely presentation. So here I am. What's the difference between judging and evaluating? Judging right off the bat, unless you're wearing a black cloak, has a <laughs> negative connotation, yes? I'm the judge, you're the person I'm judging, you are less than me. That's not the intended message. Evaluation, for our purposes, that's not the intended message. Evaluation, on the other hand, is what? It's what a teacher does with a student, is the message that comes right away to me. Evaluating is, again, that mutual activity that helps people understand this is what I saw, this is the way that I interpreted it, and then the person being evaluated gives them, again, the opportunity to take that information in, and it gives them the opportunity to discuss it. But most importantly, it gives both parties, the evaluator and the person being evaluated, the opportunity to see where growth most likely lies. For those of us that want to participate in subsequent speech contests, that's a good thing to know, yes? And the more we allow ourselves to participate in that activity, the better we are prepared to 
present whatever it is we're going to present and also to accept the information that we get from the judges that will be at the competition. Now, in a formal competition, the judges operate from three specific categories. Or they take into consideration three different categories, I should say. Each participant will be judged, will be given a total, a possible total of 100 points. 50 of those points come from content. How well you develop the speech. Does one point of the speech, oh, wait, let me back up. Does the speech progress from a beginning to an end in a rational, intelligent, insightful manner, okay? And again, that's, that's 50 points. There's 30 points that are nothing but delivery. What kind of things go into delivery? Vocal variety, the stuff that we know a lot about, right? Or at least we've heard a lot about it. See, we have vocal variety, we have hand gestures, uh, body language, okay? And then just how you present yourself how you're dressed. Is it appropriate for the speech that you're trying to give? And then finally the third category is language. And that's only 20 points. Now 20 points out of 100 points, that's still 20%. And it can do you in. But it's relatively low compared to content and delivery because they want to encourage people to just prepare a presentation and get it out there. Those things are more important than language. Not that language is unimportant, but the two other things are more important than language. We've got a lot of people in District 39, which is the district that this club ultimately reports to, that are English as second language people. So making sure that those people feel invited to speak at competitions is a very important thing. Okay, when you are a judge, you'll show up at the area or division or district competition and right away you should be embraced by what's called a chief judge. And the chief judge will pretty much tell you everything that you need to do, will pass out the forms that you are given, and those forms are somewhat self-explanatory, but there are different methods to using them, and we can go over that at another time if you'd like to discuss the form usage, because the way that you use the form can make or break your performance, but the thing to remember more than anything else is that these are your opinions. Now, your opinions in judging are certainly coming from inside yourself, but you can look at the audience and see if they're getting it, see if they're involved, see if they're interested in whatever the person is talking about. And if you see a bunch of zombie looks out there, you can pretty much tell that the audience is disconnected and the speaker has not done what he or she needs to do to get them in. As far as language goes, we're not all English majors, but give it your best shot. As a judge, you owe that to the person that you're judging, certainly. The takeaway from all of this is that A, judging is a critical part in determining who the winners are, of course, and the way that we best prepare ourselves for being a judge is to be an evaluator. Mr. Toastmaster.